Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to prove that the limit as x approaches 0 of x to the 4th times cosine of 2 over x is equal to 0. So to do this, we're going to use the squeeze theorem, which states that if a function is between two other functions that approach a similar limit, then the function in the middle has the same limit as well. So we have our function here, and we notice this cosine of 2 over x. So if we say that, let's just represent y by 2 over x, this cosine of y, right, and it doesn't matter what x is, it doesn't matter what y is, is always going to be between 1 and negative 1, right? That's just how the cosine function works. It oscillates between the values of negative 1 and 1 infinitely. Therefore, if we multiply all of these values by x to the fourth, this will be cosine y times x to the fourth is less than or equal to negative 1 times x to the fourth is less than or equal to x to the fourth. We can see that, and I'll rewrite it in as cosine of 2 over x. Just wanted to demonstrate that what's inside the cosine doesn't matter. It's just that we're taking the cosine of different values. This function that we're looking at the limit of is between the values of negative x to the fourth and x to the fourth for all values of x. And therefore, we can say that since the limit as x approaches 0 of negative x to the fourth is equal to 0, right? We just plug in 0 to get negative 0 to the fourth, that's just 0. And the limit as x approaches 0 of x to the fourth is also 0. We can say that since our function x to the fourth cosine of 2 over x is less than or equal to x to the fourth and greater than or equal to negative x to the fourth, we can say that by the squeeze theorem, the limit as x approaches 0 of this function is equal to the limit of the two functions that it's squeezed between, right? That it's in between as the same limit, which is 0. Again, this is by the squeeze theorem, which works as we just stated. 